Rogues on Cataclysm. They are so insane. Most classes got completely obliterated by them. Today, we have a special giveaway to win this epic prize, Razor Monica. I mean, look at her, her uh, outfit, you know, like... Oh yeah! You, you, you can't focus on the enemy. Ah. <laughs> check the ass, check the ass. No, check that boots. Yeah. <laughs> All you have to do is leave a comment saying why you need Monica in your life. The winner will be chosen from the comments. Retribution Paladin is one of the few classes that can actually stand against subtlety rogues, but even then you can't make a single mistake. I dueled some of the most seasoned rogue duelists on Apollo and Apollo 3's Cataclysm, and I can tell you, those were some playful games. No pun intended. Playful was the rogue that I dueled on Apollo, where there is the cataclysmic PvP season. He was missing his heroic version of the Bone Link Trinket, which procs overpowered whirlwinds, but I was missing my two-piece PvE set for the bonus that gives holy power every time I use judgment, so we were about equally geared. Subtlety rogues are amazing all throughout Cataclysm, but they get especially busted on the last PvP season with cataclysmic gear, legendary daggers, and the overpowered Bone Link Trinkets. They can literally kill most enemies in a matter of seconds. It's normal for a rogue to kill a target within the stunlock duration. Rogues normally open up with a cheap shot from stealth and then use kidney shot just as the cheap shot on the target finishes. Here you can see a rogue's burst. My warrior has 393 item level and 3417 resilience which is lower than average on Cataclysmic Season. Average item level would be around 402 and resilience over 4000. Most other classes have a big burst window every 2 minutes, however, rogues have it every minute. Their shadow dance, which is their burst ability, has only a 1 minute cooldown. The first shadow dance can be paired up with a PvP on use trinket, and the second shadow dance is usually used with Synapse Springs Glove Enchant from Engineering which gives 500 agility. So you have to make sure to trinket at the right moment, otherwise they can kill you a minute later. What I like to do on their Shadow Dance is I either Trinket and Repentance them, or bubble it. You have to watch closely what buffs a rogue has on himself, to decide whether it's worth Trinketing, bubbling, or using defensive cooldowns. What you could also do is Hand of Protection the very first opener, if the rogue uses Shadow Dance. Don't forget to keep the rogue in combat, 
and then you can bubble the second Shadow Dance a minute after since the Forbearance debuff should be off. Additionally, around every 30 seconds, a rogue will full kidney shot you with just a 6 second stun. If you are not on low HP or they are not using any other cooldowns with it, or you are not about to finish off the rogue, then I wouldn't trinket this kidney shot. Keep in mind that most rogues will want to instantly blind you if you trinket anything, so that they can reset you after the blind and have another fresh opener on you. Another powerful CC ability rogues have is called Garot. It is a silence ability that can only be used from stealth or during shadow dance, much like cheap shot. When you are silenced, you can still use your physical abilities. This means as a paladin, you won't be able to use exorcism, hammer of justice or wings, but you can still use your crusader strike and judgment for instance. Rogues usually don't trink at your repentance. If they do, you can hammer of justice them, pop burst and burst them down from 100 to 0 in a matter of seconds. However, if they do trinket the repentance, they oftentimes follow it with the Cloak of Shadows to prevent your Hammer of Justice. It would be best if you could track the Cloak of Shadows with an add-on such as Tell Me When or Weak Auras. Never let a rogue get out of combat. Use your Seal of Vengeance for damage over time and you can use your Guardian of Ancient Kings when they are about to blind or sap you so that the Guardian keeps attacking them and keeping them in combat. Also, don't forget to track the cooldown on your Sacred Shield. It procs every minute and it is a lifesaver, literally. Shaking underneath, trying to take me alive. 